No one was hurt in this thermal explosion last year, but it was a close call. Run, 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 run. A lot of that was directed away from the boardwalk. So the biggest rocks fell out towards the river instead of in the other direction, which is toward the boardwalk. And it gave people time to get away from that area immediately bordering the pool. Now, for the first time in 11 years, there's a new plan for dealing with events like this. A plan, a blueprint for how the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory would deal with some sort of geologic hazard. Mike Pullen is the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. He says there was one overriding lesson from last summer's explosion. It was that scientists may not be the first to know what's happening. The information flow initially came in the direction that we didn't expect, that it came from visitors and park staff to the volcanologists. The thermal area here at Biscuit Basin is still plenty active. We've seen the video that proves that. We we'll also see a little geyser that's going off back here a ways. Now, scientists have a new way to monitor this. A camera has been installed that can transmit still pictures and records video. And in fact, we don't know if there are really reliable precursors to things like what happened at Biscuit Basin. So that's an area where I think we have a lot more we can learn. And it's a pretty steep learning curve. That's a pretty big challenge, is, is forecasting those sort of small events. They may be small, but as the Biscuit Basin uh, episode showed us, they can be pretty impactful. That's not the only geologic hazard in Yellowstone, but some are pretty rare. A major volcano only happens once or twice every million years. You get about 100 lava flows in a million years. And Poland says one is not likely anytime soon. Then there are more common events, such as one or two strong earthquakes every 100 years. We don't know that much about which faults are the most likely to go, but there's a lot of them that could go. So that hazard's a pretty important one. And small hydrothermal explosions happen almost every year. But Poland says it's not the geologists who coordinate an emergency response. So it's our responsibility to get the information that the land managers need so that they can make smart decisions. To do that, the scientists need information. And while Poland says Yellowstone is the most monitored volcano in the world, most of the monitoring is aimed at earthquakes. And we're gonna be expanding to some of the other geyser basins as resources allow in the years to come. So, you know, Biscuit is sort of the, the next target, um, trying to get a handle of uh, monitoring upper geyser basin, um, and then hopefully moving to, to other basins in the park in the years to come, that's, that's the plan. With a goal of keeping people in the park safe. I mean, ultimately, that's the, the whole point of these response plans, is to make sure that people are protected. In Yellowstone National Park, I'm John Shearer for MTN News.